am joined by Kevin. It's me again. To go through my series of fur accessories. You might note I am wearing my first accessory, my hat that I picked up um, at a vintage store. It is a white mink. Uh, it's a little beret with a bow on the front. Um, it is a little bit tighter, and with fur accessories like hats, they either fit or they don't. So um, this one, I was kind of lucky, but it is a little bit of a snug fit. So, but it was so cute. It's got a little bow. Yeah. So that makes it work. There is the first accessory: white mink hat with bow. Oh, and it has this great thing on the top. It has a little like a center portion, and then spirals outwards, which is super cute. The second item that I purchased is white rabbit fur, and it's a muff. So um, I always uh, used to watch videos of ice skaters, um, and they would, well, not like ice skaters current day, like figure skating, but you know, cartoon versions where they go ice skating and they, the, you know, it's like the 1800s and they have the long skirts and the women all had muffs. And so when I saw this muff on sale at a vintage store in town um, for $25, and I talked them down to $20. Um, this happened! Uh, so it's white rabbit fur, super soft and you know, it's still ladylike and classy. Possibly I need to go through a carriage ride with this one. Just to have that moment. One of those New York days. I know, right? <laughs> They're made for women. My fingers stick out when I put it on. <laughs> so, Kevin, they don't fit you. They don't fit me. No, you can like have a... little handle. Yes, it does have, you're so right. So like, I'll take it off. Yes, yes, so you're on the go if you don't want to have both hands in it. Um, the next piece is also rabbit fur. I found this on the way to a gig in Chattanooga. It's black rabbit fur. It's a series of little um, rabbit pieces that are put together and then it has little tassels on the end. Um, and this is longer, super soft, and I love to mix this with leather, like a nice strong leather jacket, because then you get the mix of the hard and the soft. Um, so super cozy, and you know you want that warmth right around your neck to keep you warm too. So I like the style with the. Yes, you can actually see there are there are holes where you can stick your fingers through, which is funky and fun. Good texture. Yeah. Okay, so Kevin and I were just looking at this a little closer, and what we thought are tassels. These are rabbit's feet. It's a lucky scar. <laughs> I don't know, when you were little, did you ever have like the little uh, keychain rabbit foot that was like you could have it and get yeah, and it was supposed to bring good luck. So this one has four rabbit's feet, not tassels, that are good luck. They look like tassels, but they, if you feel it, you'll feel like the little cartilage piece in there. Maybe, I don't know what it is. Now I feel really bad. The cartilage piece looks like this a little rabbit foot. <laughs> it's a little rabbit foot. It's just good luck scar. <laughs> scarf. Um, I usually pair this with a brown longer trench coat leather jacket. If you go to my webpage, um, www.erinoff.com, um, you can actually see me wearing the leather coat that I pair this with on a regular basis. Um, again, it's that, that scarf feel where you have that warmth right around your neck and it's so soft. It just it's luxurious. And again, mink is not like the rabbit fur that you saw before. This is going to hold its fur and last much longer than the previous piece. Are you trying all the items on after? <laughs> this one. It really soft. Kevin, you're hilarious. I didn't know you was trying them on. They're just a little soft. Um, the next piece is a hat. Um, I kind of fell in love with these hats because uh, they made me feel a little bit like okay, this is ridiculous, but a little bit like Kate Middleton. She wears these hats with um, a wool pea coat. Um, so I kind of tried to pretend that I was Kate Middleton by buying these hats, but they are super soft, warm, and they, they make such a fashion statement. And I like my bold statements. You do, you got the jewelry on. And the... Yes, before we started filming, uh, Kevin told me I could move my necklace out, hang it from each shoulder, and that I would look like a Tudor. Because uh, we're both fans of the Tudor, uh, the show from Showtime. Um, and I, I had to admit he was completely right. I would have never loved that. It just needs that. the bigger chain on there. It'd be perfect for the Tudor. <laughs> no, Shot in your backyard. I know, I know. Nobody is losing their head in this one, though. Okay? Unlike the Tudors, everything is going to be okay. 
The final piece, if you watched my video of Fertastic Afternoon, I actually picked this for a hat up. Um, it has a nice swirl pattern as well, it spirals outwards. Um, this is the hat that I picked up with the fox fur coat at the same time. And um, it was in really bad shape, but I had it oiled and the fur just, it pops right up beautifully now and is soft to the touch again. Um, I got this and the fox fur coat. Both of them did smell like cigarette smoke. Had them cleaned um, and now, this too does not smell like cigarettes. Does it smell like the white one? Yes, the white fox fur, yeah. I mean, it smells like uh, fur. It smells like a bookstore. It smells like a bookstore. It smells like a bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke, which is the uh, goal of this. Um, this hat is, do I get to try it on? Yeah. Okay, you, you look like you're, I don't know where the front and back is. There's one side that's longer and one side that's shorter. Does the shorter side, I think I've decided that the shorter side goes in back. You can wear it either way. It had some versatility, but um, this one I picked up with the uh, fox fur and I got both pieces for $20. I talked them down. How is it? Oh, oh, the, the options. Oh, the options. Um, no? Oh, yes? Usually like a big, big tall one and then a little shorter than that. Yes, the tall forehead. Here, very regal. Very Moscow. But this one, as I said, I got it with a fox fur. Not much money at all. It did need a professional cleaning, but well worth the money to get a fox fur jacket and a hat for roughly $20. It's unheard of. And the lady was nice enough to bring it to me at rehearsal. So um, thank you. Thank you, those uh, special thrift stores in uh, Rome, Georgia. I love you, okay? Um, this is it that I have for the video, so. Short video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you soon. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And um, if you want to make sure that you never miss a video, uh, click the subscribe button. We'll be posting regularly. Bye, guys.